What if I told you that Neck Deep became one of the biggest emerging rock bands on the planet with a new hit hidden in their discography right under our noses? What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the No Skip Show. I'm your host, Travis Platt, and today we're here to talk about Neck Deep's rapid success in the past year. Going from the underground pop punk giants all the way to a mainstream household name. Make sure to like this video, subscribe, comment below your thoughts on Neck Deep, and also smack that bell to keep the record spinning, and also check out all of my links, all of my social medias, they're in the links in the description below. But without further ado, let's jump into this video. When you think of Neck Deep's biggest hits, what comes to mind first? You'd probably guess December. I'm the last thing you Part of me, right? Like her cause she's smart, has and independent. She puts me in my place. But what if I told you neither of those are it? Instead, it's the heart-wrenching ballad Wish You Were Here. It should have been me. Either way, I still wish you were here. Off of their 2017 album, The Peace and the Panic. Despite this, the band does not really play it live that often, and there's not really a major hype for it. Except for in the Asian island country that neighbors Australia, Indonesia. As someone who lives in the United States, normally I would not expect Indonesia to have a large crowd of emo kids. But over 2022, the deep cut from Ben Barlow and company took over Indonesian TikTok, currently sitting at over 100,000 sounds on the app, making this a massive breakout song for them. The band has been attracting many fans in that country specifically, doubling their normal monthly listeners to over 3.5 million as of recording in this video. Now, many videos show how much this song and this band means to the fans just as much as how much Neck Deep means to the fans of this channel. This all makes me wonder about the influence of the internet and social media on different bands' success outside of their respective countries. Such as Don Broco from the UK and Electric Cowboy from Germany, Neck Deep themselves being from Wales. But more scene specific, you have great Canadian pop punk bands like Calling All Captains or Rarity. They can be doing something similar to Neck Deep, like blowing up on a floor in TikTok. I doubt it. If you'd like me to talk all about the way that home countries impact the popularity of bands, comment that below. I'd really like to talk about the topic, so if there's interest, I would love to talk about it. I'll be the first to admit, I don't know a whole lot about Indonesia or Eastern countries in general. I've never traveled outside of the United States. I'm very connected to the United States as much as I would love to travel internationally. It just hasn't happened yet. And I know a lot of bands are starting to really tour Japan heavy. I see Tiny Moving Parts doing it, Anxious are recently touring Japan, One Step Closer, many pop punk and hardcore bands. So maybe there is more of a scene that I just don't know about. And if you live in those countries, if you live on the eastern side of the world, comment below. Tell us what it's like there. Tell us about the scene there. Are many bands touring there? There are a lot of festivals. I'd love to hear about it. Neck Deep are tapping into a fresh market in Indonesia and paving the way to create a strong scene there thanks to one song blowing up on the country's TikTok. And as people see them in concert, they'll want to start a band that sounds similar to them. With enough bands creates a new scene in a different country. And that's how you get new perspectives and experiences from what we're used to. And very unique and fresh sounds to compare. Go ahead and comment your favorite bands from Indonesia. I'm not too familiar with many bands from Indonesia, or really the East in general, outside of Australia and Japan. So 
Sh show me some bands. Comment your favorites. Neck Deep has grown a lot in the past decade, starting as a group of high schoolers terrified of growing up, but evolving into the biggest modern pop punk band today, constantly one-upping their production and live shows. Although many people, including myself, miss the angst of Life's Not Out to Get You and Rain in July, they have matured and cleaned up their sound. Thanks to that, they are able to get bigger and bigger, even in places you wouldn't originally think pop punk is all that relevant. Comment some of your favorite uh, Southeast Asian bands and Asian bands in general. Let's open the discussion and bring these bands to the West as well as comment some of your favorite bands that you would love to see that come to Eastern Asia. There is definitely a market and the world's just getting smaller and smaller with the use of the internet. And that's the main reason I wanted to talk about this video and the contents of it and really how as a Westerner, we don't really see the culture of other countries and how the music that we love impacts them in a much different way. So that's all I have for today. So make sure to like this video, subscribe, smack the notification bell, keep the record spinning once again. And I'm going to be signing out. Um, see you guys next time and happy listening.